Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's take a walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer hopefully will be a treat. A lot of people don't like a uh, chocolate peanut butter porter or chocolate peanut butter anything. Uh, when they drink, drink beer, they don't want that sweet or peanut butter taste or, or chocolate taste. Uh, I enjoy that. Um, the one that Duclaw does, their Sweet Baby Jesus, is a favorite of mine. I really, really like that. It'll, and that beer is either you don't like it at all or, or, or you do like it. So uh, there's no in-between on this. Either, either you like that taste or you don't like that taste. And to me, the Declaw version, the Sweet Baby Jesus, is like a Reese cup in a bottle. I mean, it's, uh, it's very tasty. Uh, I, I enjoy it, and, and I usually try to keep some here. I am out of it. And, and they did have some when I was at the store, but I seen this, and I said, well, I haven't done this, and this was originally a side project, and I don't think I got that version of it when it came out in a side project. So, uh, whether this is going to be a year-round offering or a seasonal offering, I'm actually not sure of. According to what uh, Beer Advocate says, it's a rotating schedule on it. So, uh, And uh, they have a picture of the side project bottle on here, and they're calling it... They have the common liquid bliss in here too, and that, and usually their side projects are, are uh, and it's got a different picture on it from what I've got here, uh, and that was uh, I don't see the number of this particular side project that they did, so I, I'm not sure which one it was, but I did not get it, and, and now it's in the, the 12 ounce bottle, and it's got a yellow code here on it. It says. 125.15. So they want you to have this by January 15th. This is a 6.10% ABV beer. It's not a huge beer. Uh, a little bit bigger than a sessional sessional beer would be, but 6% is so acceptable. I don't think I'd want to drink six of these at one time. I usually uh, finish up the evening with a with a porter or a stout. So this is the final beer of the evening. Uh, I don't think I'd want to drink more than one of these uh, at a setting. Uh, I've not had this beer before, so I'm I'm not really sure. So I don't I usually I usually don't have the same beer twice in the same in the same day. So that's just that's just me. That's just my one of my little quirks. I usually try to drink something different every time. If I drink two, they're different. If I drink three, they're different. If I drink four, they're different. So uh, usually never drink more than four beers. So. Uh, and uh, that's just me. That's just that's just me. After years and years of sessioning Budweisers and drinking 12 to 20 of them and getting shit faced, uh, I don't do that anymore. So uh, I like I like the taste of of the, of the different beers and don't drink the macro lagers anymore. So just me though, just my opinion. Let's get on with this. Uh, the food pairings for this beer says. Cuisine is barbecue, cheese, buttery, brie, gouda, Havarti, and Swiss. And since it is a uh, peanut butter uh, porter, it goes well with your chocolate and dessert dishes. And the meat is beef, smoked meat, and grilled meat. Glass fresh pint, becker, and like tumbler, mug, side of side down. Since it is, usually I reserve the Dubois glass for the bigger beers and the and the uh, the bigger, darker beers. But I decided to go ahead and bring the Dubois glass on this. So. Enhance the aroma just a little bit on this beer to see what I could get, see how much peanut butter it has, and see how much chocolate it has on the nose. Uh, since not recommended for extended salary with a six percenter, 
they're telling you around the bottle they want you to have this by January 25th of 2015 we're just into September so I think we're good there uh, I did buy a six pack of this so I hope I like it because I got five more of these puppies to drink if I if I don't so uh, we'll find out I did have somebody tell me when I was buying that it was a tad better than the sweet baby Jesus but that was just their opinion we'll see where I end up with it <clears throat> Alright guys, commercial description on this. Peanut butter chocolate porter dry hop with George Peanuts, formerly a, po formerly a part of the side project series. Melt into another dimension with Terrapin's newest side project, Liquid Bliss. This chocolate peanut butter porter concoction flows like a river of self-indulgent righteousness deep into the depths of your innermost childhood memory. So I'm hoping it's going to be a lot like a Reese cup. Turn on, tune in, and drop out of this world for a tongue-tripping experience of flavors never before eloquently combined in a liquid or solid form. Alright, I'll be using this beer 23, guys. I don't think there's anything else we need to talk about. So, let's pop the cap on this bad boy and see what it's about. I'm anxious to try this. Because like I said, I got five more to drink. If I don't like it, it's going to suck. Nice hiss. And I did hear when they make the, make this beer, it is a peanut butter mess. But it says here that it's dry hopped with Georgia peanuts. So I don't know how they're dry hopping, whether it's in whole peanut form or they're putting peanut Georgia peanuts in peanut butter form in there. I'm not real sure. I have never brewed a anything with peanut butter. Seems to me it would be a big messy project. Alright guys, nice uh, finger of head on that pour. Over into the light. It is pitch black. I'm not giving any whatsoever. More like a stout than a pour. Looks good in the glass. It's got a nose on it. To me, it smells a lot like Sweet Baby Jesus. I am getting the chocolate. I am getting the peanut butter. I smell just like a Reese cup in the glass. So let's give it a taste. Cheers, everybody. I'm giving us... A little bit of a metallic taste on this, which I'm not a big fan of. Hopefully as it warms up, it's right out of the fridge at 40 degrees, that metallic taste will go away. But the peanut butter and the chocolate are definitely there. It's like a Reese cup in a glass. I am giving a slight metallic taste. So we're going to let this warm up. Hopefully that metallic taste will go away. If it doesn't, uh, I'm going to be disappointed. But it is very, very similar to DeClaw's uh, Sweet Baby Jesus, which is a peanut butter porter too. So, peanut butter chocolate porter. So let's let it warm up and we'll come back and do the final chug on this and see where it ends up. Hope that metallic taste goes away. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. I don't know whether it's better than the DeClaw version of the peanut butter uh, chocolate porter or not. The metallic taste has dissipated. It's not metallic anymore. Been sitting on it probably about 30 minutes. But to me, it's just as tasty. Uh, I don't know if it's better. I think it's just as good, but I don't think it's better than the... Uh, the Declaw version of this, but uh, the chocolate is definitely there and the peanut butter is definitely there. It's a nice change. It's not something, like I said earlier, that uh, I don't want to drink two, three, or four of these in a row, because I don't do that, and, it, it, and I frankly would probably get burnt out on if I try to drink that many at one setting. But for, for what it is, which is a peanut butter chocolate porter, that's exactly what it tastes like. I mean, it's it's spot on, and that's what they're after. I mean, that's exactly what it says on the label. That's exactly what it is. Uh, it has the date on the side of it, 
and it also has a notch in here on the side too but with that bright yellow dating her here on the neck of the bottle very easy to see it's not hidden there's no code it is what it is and I'm gonna grade it accordingly final choke To me, it's slightly more acidic than the Ducal version of this, which is not a bad thing, but I don't think it's quite as easy drinking as the Ducal version of it, but it's just as tasty. So guys, uh, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I mean, it's, it's, not, the, it's not like a bourbon barrel version of something. Uh, it is a peanut butter chocolate porter, and that's exactly what it tastes like. It tastes like a Reese cup in a glass. So, 9 out of 10 for me on this one, guys. So, let's see what anybody else thinks. We'll go over to Beer Advocate first, and they say 85 in a very good range. I think it's slightly better than this, but there's a lot of the craft beer reviewers and, and people that drink this beer that are not impressed with it. I mean, it's just, I mean, unless you're... You enjoy something like this occasionally. It's not, I mean, if you're expecting just a standard porter or whatever, it's it's got a little more going on. I mean, it's got the peanut butter in it and it's got the chocolate going on. So, uh, a little change up from what a standard porter is going to taste like. I mean, that's just, that's just, that's just what it is. It says that on the label. Uh, so, if you see something like that, it says peanut butter chocolate porter. And you, you're not into that style of beer, you're probably not going to like that style of beer. But for something, uh, uh, for an occasional, you know, beer, it's not that bad. I mean, I really, I enjoyed it. I think it's in the A category, and that's where I'm going to, that's where I'm going to put it. I'm going to give it to 9 out of 10. I think it's better than an 85, so. And over to Rate Beer. Rate Beer says, overall 94 and 95 in the style. If I was putting a numeric rating on it, that's exactly where I would put it between a 95 and a 97, somewhere in that area. So, that's where I'm going to leave it tonight. If, you, uh, if you've had this one, let me know what you think of it. I think it's pretty spot on for what the label says it is. So, with that being said, let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow, guys. See you then.